My sister-in-law is the most entitled person ever. Guys, get this. My husband, he gave her, his sister, $20,000 to throw me an extravagant birthday party where I was going to fly all the way across the country back to my parents to see them. Well, that didn't work out because she didn't do that. She kept the money for herself. <laughs> and you won't believe what she spent it on. Something fishy's going on and I'm not sure what to do. I believe my sister-in-law may have lied to me about my birthday plans. She was supposed to be responsible for making the day special for me since my husband is away. But I got a really concerning call from my mom that's led me to believe that she may be lying. For some context, my husband and I have been married for four years. We've known each other since high school, but we reconnected in college and hit it off. When we got engaged, I decided to move to the East Coast with him. Since it was easier for me to get up and leave than it was for him, his family has always been super nice and welcoming towards me, especially his mom and dad. They always made sure that we had everything we needed and would even accommodate my parents and siblings during the past few times that they came to visit. I run a small online knitwear store. So I work from home most days and visit markets once a month just to sell my product. My husband is the primary breadwinner and has a high-level position at a local pharmaceutical company. Apparently, his father worked for the same company up until he retired and used his connections to help Aiden get the job. That's not to say my husband is not a hard worker. He's always been career-focused, and it's what brings him joy. Despite that, he'd always make time for me. We've always spent birthdays together and holidays with family, and for birthdays, we always go all out. Something like booking a chef's table at a restaurant that we've been dying to try for a long time, or a trip to a place on our bucket list. Usually, it's something he and I have said that we always wanted to do, but never got around to actually doing it. For my last birthday, we spent two weeks in Greece, and it's probably the best gift he's ever given me. Since we live across the country from my family, we always fly over to them for either Thanksgiving or Christmas. One year, he even went as far as to fly my sister and me to one of the best friends out so they could spend time with me. He always puts a lot of thought into what we'll do for our birthdays and spoils me with gifts and attention. I look forward to them more than anything else. So Aiden had a really important work trip scheduled for around the time of my birthday, but he was expected to be back before it so we could just go to dinner at one of our favorite spots. He's going with his boss to meet one of the top clients at their agency, which is a very big deal for him because his boss only takes the people he sees promising to see their high-level clients. Aiden has been gunning for a promotion for a long time, so this trip is super important and has been on his mind since his boss told him about it. However, about a month and a half ago, his boss told them their client had to reschedule so he would be leaving for the trip four days before my birthday and would be gone for, like, uh, a whole week. He told me right away and said if I didn't want him to go, he wouldn't go, since he knows how much spending time with him means to me. I thought about it, and while I was sad that we would not be able to spend time together on my birthday, I knew how important this trip was to him. It was just one birthday, and there would be plenty more for us to enjoy. Well, he said that he would do his best to make sure that I had a good day without him. Uh, fast forward to last week, and Aiden leaves for his trip. He said that he'd arranged everything for my birthday, and his sister, Penny, would come by and make sure that I was taken care of, see? Penny is now an Instagram influencer and model. She has hundreds of thousands of followers and gets brand deals and endorsements like crazy. Which means that she's always doing uh, stuff and getting a lot of free clothing. Makeup, accessories, and whatnot. In the past, she shared some of it with me. Uh, though lately, we have talked or hung out a lot. Last I heard, she was trying to grow an online business. Her studio is in the basement of the, her parents' house and... That's where she does all her photo shoots and live streams. But I'm getting off track here. Well, in the days leading up to my birthday, I did not get to talk to Aiden much because he's in a different time zone. When I'm up, he's sleeping and vice versa, but he would text me when he woke up. And before he went to bed, you know, uh, mostly stuff like I love you and I hope you're having a good day. You know, mushy couple stuff. Well, I did talk to my mom a lot and she seemed excited for some reason. She was saying how she could wait for my next visit and giving me updates about how my cousins were doing. She asked me how Aiden's trip was going, which I didn't even know that she knew about, but I guess they've been talking. 
nothing out of the ordinary I talked to his parents to. One time before she hung up, she said that she would see me soon, but at the time I didn't think anything about it. So, this morning, Penny comes over and says Aiden tasked her with making my special day fun. So, we spent the day at the spa. We got massages, sat in the sauna, got facials, and got our nails did. Then later that evening, we had a dinner at one of my favorite spots. We ate our fill, ordered dessert, and the staff even sang happy birthday to me. Was it grand? No, but I had a lot of fun, and it was nice talking to and hanging out with Penny. You know, I thought it might have been weird since we were so far apart in age, but she was really cool and funny. I'll admit, something seemed off about the whole spa day and dinner. This isn't me being ungrateful, but considering all the things Aiden had done for our birthdays, up until this point, I, you know, thought it seemed a little basic. I'm used to my birthday celebration being super well thought out. You know, not grand or expensive, but unique. I tried not to dwell on it, though, because I know Aiden had been super busy at the time of his trip. So maybe he had to think of something really fast and easy to book, and I also had not had a spa day in so long... Before I get to this next part, though, I need to preface it with the fact that I don't use my phone a lot when I'm out. I try to be in the moment and enjoy myself and whoever I'm with instead of scrolling all the time. So when I got home from my birthday celebration, I had a bunch of missed calls and texts from my mom. Naturally, I was absolutely terrified because I thought uh, it was some sort of emergency. So, I call her back and she asked me where the heck I'm at. I told her I'm home and she asked me if I missed my flight. If there was a delay, or if I'd gotten sick, or if something went wrong. Honestly, she was talking so fast I could barely keep up, and I told her I wasn't on the West Coast. Nor was I coming to the West Coast until the holidays like I always do. Well, she explained to me that Aiden told her I was coming over for my birthday. He sent roses, wine, and cake to the house and ordered catering so I could have dinner with my family for my birthday. Now, I'm incredibly confused. I told my mom I was going to get to the bottom of this, and I told her to just enjoy the food and the cake without me having to call or text. Well, I texted Aiden under the circumstances to tell him about this, because I didn't want to stress him out when he was already on such an important trip. The first thing I did was call Penny. I asked her if Aiden had planned anything else for my birthday, and she said no. He just told her to make sure that I had a good time. Then she asked me if I didn't have fun or if she has done something wrong. She sounded really, really defensive, you know. And I told her, oh no, I had a lot of fun, I was just asking. My next move was to call her and Aiden's parents. They're out of town but nearby and it wasn't going to be too late. They picked me up right away and wished me a happy birthday and they said that they wanted to call earlier but figured I would be busy celebrating. I asked if they were in on my birthday surprise. They said no. Both Penny and Aiden have been very secretive about it because they didn't want the surprise to get ruined. And their mom is known to blabber. They asked me if I had a good day and all, but at that point I was so confused that I needed to sit alone and think, so I thanked them and hung up the phone. Now, here I am. It's late, which means Aiden is probably getting ready for work, and I'm debating calling him and asking what's up. I know something is very, very wrong. Penny's definitely lying to me about my birthday plans, but I don't want to stress him out because, ugh, who knows? He's already wound up dealing with his company's clients. He's going to be home in just two days, so I should just wait. Update number one. I decided to wait on Aiden. Maybe confronting Penny like someone suggested would have been better in hindsight, but I didn't want to accuse her of anything and ruin our relationship over a simple misunderstanding. Well, it turns out that everything is much worse than I imagined. So when Aiden came home, he walked through the door and stared at me with silent confusion and asked me what the hell was d going on and what do I was doing home already. I told him I never left. He just sat down on the couch and buried his face in his hands, and I said I spoke to my mom. And she said that he'd send food, flowers, and cake to the house, and that she said I was supposed to come visit for my birthday. I told him I didn't know exactly what was going on, and didn't want to call him while he was on his trip, and stress him more than he already was. He told me to sit down and asked me to tell him what happened on my birthday. I told him about Penny coming by and surprising me with a spa dinner and how she uh, said that it was all his doing. And he got really, really mad. He explained to me that he had given his sister $20,000 so he could fly to Los Angeles and I could be with my family for my birthday. He planned out the whole itinerary, but in the weeks leading up to his trip, he'd been so busy that he didn't have time to book everything. 
So he'd ask Penny to do it, and I was supposed to fly out the morning of my birthday and spend my birthday at my parents' place. That's why he ordered the cake and catering to go there. We were supposed to go to Rodeo Drive for shopping, get surfing lessons at the beach, and do a whole lot of other stuff. Well, that's not even it. When he came home, he was going to rest for the day, then fly out to meet me so we could spend the last few days together. He'd asked his boss off for a few days after the trip because he had felt bad about having to miss my birthday. He and I were going to go to Disneyland, um, workshops, and get custom lightsaber made. While he was talking, I could see that he was ready to explode. Like, I've never seen him this mad before. He's usually quietly annoyed whenever he's upset. Looking over all the itinerary, it made sense why I felt weird about the spa day and dinner. This felt more like something my husband would do for me. He told me he needed to take a shower and clear his head a bit, and I don't blame him, really. That was a lot to take in. I decided to call my mom and update her on what was happening. She was appalled, but also really sad because I wasn't coming to visit. I told her I would come for the holidays per usual. After Aiden was done with his shower, he said he would deal with his sister tomorrow, because he was super tired from all the flying. So, we ordered some food and we're going to catch up on some shows. I'll update you guys once we talk to Penny, because hopefully he doesn't kill her. Update number two. Well, Aiden and I went to talk to Penny today and it did not go well at all. At first, we tried to call and text her, but she would not pick up the phone. So, we drove over to Aiden's parents' place and we were knocking and ringing the bell for a full ten minutes before she answered. She tried to slam the door in our faces, but Aiden stopped her. She said she was just about to leave, so we should come back another time. Aiden straight up just told her to stop her nonsense and send him the money back. She said the money's gone, so there's no sending it back. That's when the screaming started, and I'm surprised the neighbors did not call the cops. Penny said that he was good for the 20000 anywho, and we could just go on our trip anyways. She claimed that he's always bragging about how much money he makes, throwing his wealth in her face and treating her like she is less than because she chose an unconventional career path which isn't true at all. I'd never heard or seen Aiden talk down to his sister at all. Aiden asked her what the hell she was talking about, and she said that when she asked him to help fund her business venture, he refused and made it seem like she was incompetent. Aiden reminded her that all he asked her was for a business plan and even offered to help her make one, but she wanted him to give her the money outright, and even so, that's no excuse for her to just take his money. She said it's not like she took all the money. She still took me to the spa and dinner, and I was going to see my family at the end of the year anyway, so it's not a big deal. At this point, I thought Aiden was going to strangle her. I knew he would hurt her. Uh, but I saw his hands clenching. Penny kept rambling, saying she needed the money way more than I needed to see my family. And if he wanted to send me to them so badly, we could just go right now. Guys, I have no idea where this was coming from or why Penny harbored so much resentment towards her brother. He said that he didn't care that much about the money and he cared more that she ruined my birthday surprise. She said that she was sick of talking about this and went down to the basement and locked the door. Aiden went there and yelled at her for a good 10 minutes while banging on the door. I told him it wasn't worth it to argue with her and we left. On the way home, he said he was going to get a lawyer and sue her. I asked him if he would talk to his parents about this first, and they might be able to shake some sense into Penny. He said he didn't want to bother them while they were out on vacation, but he would contact them and see if there's anything they could do. But if they can't help him, he's going to lawyer up. Update number three. Aiden spoke with his parents a few days ago, and a lot's gone down since then. They were so mad when they found out what Penny did, and they promised to make things right once they got back. Well, they got back two days ago and invited us over for dinner. Before we even sat down, Aiden's father asked Penny if she had Aiden's money. She looked nervous and said that she didn't have it. But it's not a big deal because Aiden had a lot more money than he knew what to do with. Her dad calmly told her that she had one week to get out of the house, and that she would be paying Aiden back one way or the other. She asked her mom if they were really going to do this, and her mother said yes. What she did was unforgivable. You know, not only did she steal from Aiden, she also robbed me a chance to see my family, and she was unrepentant about it. Penny broke down and said that she needed the money to pay the bank. Apparently, she's been involved in some controversial Instagram stuff years ago and lost a good chunk of her following because of it. 
Her engagement numbers plummeted and she started getting fewer brand deals and sponsorships. Since then, she's been desperately trying to regain her fan base. Without her sponsors, she hasn't been able to afford expensive products that her fans were using to seeing. So she borrowed money from the bank, but since she still isn't making money, she hasn't been able to pay it back and now the bank is threatening to take her to court. Her father said that's no excuse. If she was in a bind, she should have just asked for help. He could have helped her find a job easily. Instead, she chose to be underhanded. She starts to cry and asks them where she was supposed to go. Her father said she needs to figure that out on her own, but he wasn't harboring a thief. She started screaming at them, saying she knew they always hated her. She said Aiden was always their favorite child, and this just proves it, and her mother reminded her that they supported her when she dropped out of college and decided to pursue a career in social media. She never had to pay a single bill or any rent, and she had her room in the basement to herself, and she was just ungrateful, little, entitled brat. Penny tried to lock herself in the basement in protest, but her father had changed the locks on the doors while she was out earlier in the day. He said all the camera equipment and stuff in there, along with the stuff that she got from the brands, would be used to pay Aiden back. They also promised to make it up to me for my birthday. We had dinner. Penny did not join us. And when we left, she was still crying in her room, and that's where we're at now. I doubt much will happen uh, more from here, but I'll keep you guys posted just in case. Update number four. Hey, it's been two weeks and my in-laws have followed through on their threat. Penny is out of the house and a lot of her stuff is on eBay. They even had a full-on yard sale to get rid of some of her other things. And My father-in-law explained to me that this was not the first time Penny had stolen. Back when she was in college, she stole from her mom to pay for some passes for a party that she couldn't even legally go to because she was under 21 and there would be alcohol present and he said when it happened... He told her if he caught her stealing again, she would be out of the house, and I guess she just didn't take him serious. Altogether, they managed to raise around $10,000 so far, but there's still lots more to sell. Penny had a manner of designer clothes and accessories, some of which she never even wore. She had a thing about never wearing the same outfit twice, so uh, most of this stuff was lightly used at best. I was tempted to buy some of it, you know, but Aiden said he wanted no connections to Penny at all. And if there's anything I would like, he should just buy it for me anyways. Aiden's parents are also helping us plan a trip to the West Coast next month. We're going to go to Vegas and drive over to California to visit my folk. So I can have a do-over birthday party. My mom is over the moon. She was really looking forward to seeing me on my birthday and Aiden just needs to get the vacation time approved. As for what happened to Penny, she's now living with her maternal grandparents out of the country. They live in the sticks of a super rural neighborhood. Uh, around six hours away, and I've only met them once, you know, uh, when they came down for the wedding. Aiden says they're cool, but super strict and extremely religious, and they were the only people willing to take Penny in. After what she did, and, you know, it spread around the family. His mom used to threaten to send him and Penny there when they misbehaved when they were kids. Even uh, when the $20,000 she stole, she still has a large portion of the loan to pay off. So she had to get a job at a local coffee shop. One time, uh, you know, on top of that, her grandparents make her pay rent. I saw her complaining on Facebook about how she barely has anything left at the end of the month. She's been bashing Aiden and her parents, saying they ruined her life and her career. As if it wasn't already ruined by her mismanagement. That wasn't enough. One of her old followers saw her working in the coffee shop and posted a picture of her online. People were clowning her so much that she had to turn off the comments on all her posts. According to what I read, Penny used to flaunt her expensive clothing and accessories a lot, and used to make fun of people who were broke and had to work minimum wage jobs just to get by, which is part of the reason she lost her fan base. But that's everything that's happened, and I'm just glad that this big ol' mess is finally cleared up. I didn't want to see Aiden and Penny fighting uh, this out in court, and I have my trip to look forward to. Top comments from the original post in all the updates, comment number one says, It serves you right for being a thief, OP. Um, OP, by the way, you're a saint for uh, talking your husband out of suing. Because if it were me, I would have owned her. And I agree with your husband, you not getting to see your family who you barely see at as it is, is so much worse than the money. You could always make more money, but she robbed you of something super special. And that's unforgivable. 
I'm glad your husband was at at least able to get some of his money back and that you'll be able to see your family again. I just hope your sister-in-law learned from this because she seems like a really bitter, mean-spirited person. Comment number two, most hated comment on the final update says no. I agree that uh, what your sister-in-law did was unforgivable, but... Her parents basically ruined her life. I mean, why would they go to the extreme of kicking her out onto the street? They could have still sold her stuff to recoup the money, taken the basement away from her, and made her get a job to pay off the rest of the loans. Also, it's their fault she's like this. It sounds like they spoiled her rotten. They let her drop out of college, bought her all the stuff she needed, and didn't even try to teach her how to be a responsible adult? Why didn't they make her pay rent or even a bill? They taught her no life skills and set her up for failure. Terrible, terrible parents. 